In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom fit mosquito netting for your van. For when it's hot as an oven, or you just want the doors open because it's a great view. But the bugs are fierce. So if you're ready, let's get started. Welcome to Sweller Than Dweller. For this simple project, you're only going to need two things, mosquito netting and magnets. For the magnets, you're going to need a stack of neodymium magnets. These are the strongest type of magnet ever invented. They are 10 times stronger than your traditional magnet. You can get them in different qualities and all kinds of shapes and sizes. The quality you get and the size you get determine the ultimate holding power. For this project, I used N35 quality, which is actually fairly low, in a disc shape measuring two millimeters by five millimeters. I got mine in a stack of 100 for under $5 shipped from China because it was such a good deal and I wasn't in a hurry. But fear not, you should be able to get them from anywhere they sell magnets. You just might have to pay a little more than that. You'll need some mosquito netting. I got mine from the Dollarama, if you live in Canada, for only $1.50 in a 51 by 59 inch size. But Sweller, I don't live in Canada or I, I'm not near a Dollarama. Fear not, my friends. You should be able to get mosquito netting from any fabric store. It comes on huge rolls and they'll just cut whatever you need. You might just have to pay a little bit more. As mentioned, my mosquito netting that I bought came in a 51 inch by 59 inch size. So what I did was I sewed two together, which gave me more than enough coverage with extra leftover to cover the entire back of my Ford Econoline. The only other question is where exactly do I put the magnets and how far do I space them apart? I suggest you start with a few magnets in each of the corners. And if that's not enough to actually hold the net up, maybe use some tape temporarily to give it extra support. Once you have the net up and in place, it will be quite obvious where it needs more magnets and extra support and where you can spread them out a little bit less frequently. It also depends upon what size and strength of magnet you get. The stronger the magnet, the less you will need. However, I decided to get a smaller magnet and add them more frequently around the edge so that I could get a better seal. Because as you can imagine, the more magnets you have, the more positioning power you have to get a better fit. To attach the magnets to the mosquito netting, I simply used Gorilla Glue. When the netting is not in use, for simplicity, I just ball it up and keep it in a plastic bag. When I take the netting out of the bag, some of the magnets are stuck together and I gently and carefully separate them. I don't want to rip the net or rip the magnets off the net. It's actually quite easy to put up because the magnets, as soon as they get near the wall, will pull themselves towards it. So it nearly puts itself up. Now, if you know me, you can imagine I thought of tossing the net at the opening to see if it would magically install itself as if it had a mind of its own. But you know what? I think that's asking too much. And when you're finished with it, it comes down in seconds. Just be gentle because you don't want to rip the magnets off the netting. If you appreciate my efforts to make these videos and don't think I'm some sort of crazy lunatic, I would be humbled if you would subscribe to my channel because it's the only way you can support me and let me know that you want me to continue making more. So until next time, keep your life simple and enjoy your van. Bye for now.